how it reduced within the short period of time. The, you know, I told you in the short run, there's always a fixed cost. Yes. One, at least a fixed factor yes. of production. So the others are variables. So we want to know how, what happens in the short run to our average cost. Normally, our average cost should fall. So definitely, so because our average cost should fall in the short run, it means we are, we are efficient. Mm -hmm. It means we have expanded our business. Before your average cost would fall, it would be because there is economies of scale. And economies of scale is, an adva is a cost advantage mm -hmm. as a result of expansion. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So if your average cost has to fall, mm -hmm. it means you are enjoying economies of scale. That's the point. So the short run average cost curve is U-shaped. U-shaped. And it is downward slope. So do you get it? Mm -hmm. The shape of a short run average cost, that's the sack, is U-shaped and it's always downward slope. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. So what are the reasons why we can have uh, why we can why, what are the reasons why we have it as a downward slope? One, because there's division of labor or specialization. So when we talk about division of labor, division of labor is the breaking down of production process into different stages, and each stage is being performed by different people. So that means we have splitted this job. We splitted it. Yes. So each individual is take, is picking up a task. Yeah. yeah. So that is what we call division of labor. Mm -hmm. So as you as you continue to do that task. You become better in it, yes. and that, become, that brings about specialization. Mm -hmm, yeah. So specialization will bring about efficiency. Yes. Do you get it? So our average cost of production will fall if we are efficient. Do you get it? So one of the reasons why we could be why one of the reasons why our short uh, our average cost of production would fall is because we have econ we have or we have division of labor or specialization. Specialization means that an individual is given a specific tax that he knows how to do best. Mm -hmm. That is specialization. So yes. with specialization, you are giving the job to someone who can do it better. So this is what he knows how, or she knows how to do best. So she's going to do it well or he's going to do it well. And that will bring about greater efficiency. Mm -hmm. And as soon as, greater, as soon as there's greater efficiency, the average cost of production is expected to fall. Mm -hmm. That's why it is downward slope. Yes. Do you get it? Yes. So division of labor can bring about efficiency. And when there's efficiency, our cost of production would fall, especially each unit produced. The other one is expansion. So another reason why we could have a fall in our average cost of production is through expansion. So for expansion, what does expansion do? It helps us to spread our fixed cost. Mm -hmm. You know that the fixed cost cannot change. Yes. As the level of output changes, yes. it cannot change. Yes. But one thing is certain, if our, ex if our business is expanding, if we are expanding our business, our average, uh, our variable cost will expand, it will increase. But for each unit produced, we will be able to spread the fixed cost on them. This is what I'm saying. If our fixed cost is 100 mm -hmm. and we increase our output to be 200. So if our output increases to 200, before now our output is, let's say it's 100. So, so that means for our fixed cost, which is 100, our output is still 100. As soon as we increase our, fees, uh, our output to 200, it means we are able to produce times two of our fixed cost. Do you get it? So instead of saying one to one for 100, because one multiplied by 100 is 100, right? Mm -hmm. Now it is, now we have increased our output to 200. So 200 divided by 100. It's not 100 divided by 100 anymore. It is yes. 200 divided by 100. Yes. That means it becomes 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. So our fixed cost has reduced from one to 0 0.5, mm -hmm. because we have increased our output. You don't get it. Kind of. I will explain again. Mm -hmm. Let's assume that we produce, okay, let's use our fixed cost is $100. Our variable cost is, let's say, $150. Okay? And the output, our output is around 300 So that means the total of our, the total cost is 250 right? And our output is 300 units. So if we increase our output, that means for now, for the fixed cost in, on, in 300 units, our fixed cost for 300 units is 300 divided by 100. So that means for each unit produced, our fixed cost is $3. Okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Now, we have increased our output to 600. So if our output increases to 600, remember our fixed cost will not change. So because our fixed cost will not change, what happens? It becomes less. The fixed cost will become less because now we are producing more. more. So 
we will be able to spread our fixed cost with more units of output. Mm. Before now, for 300, we have 100. Now we are producing 600, we are still going to have 100. So what happens? The, uh, the fixed cost reduces. The average fixed cost will start reducing. Yes. Do you get the yeah, units? Yeah. Each yeah. unit will start reducing. Yeah. Before now, for 100, 600 units is produced for 100. So that means that 600, let me have your calculator, please. Yeah, sure. Out with that 100, okay? 100 divided by 600. So each unit, we have 0 0.1. Yeah. But before now, it was 300, yes or no? Yeah. So let's say 100 divided by 300. It's 0 0.3. Yeah. It was 0 0.3 when it was 300 units. Now that we have increased our output to 600, so it will be? 0 .6. 600, no, 100, right? Mm. Output, which is 600. No, 100 divided by 600. 0 0.1. Mm -hmm. So now it has what? It has reduced. Before now it was 0 0.3. Now it is what is 0 0.1. So as soon as you expand your business, as soon as you expand your production scale, your fixed cost will start reducing. It is still constant, but what happens to it? You are able to spread it across the increase in, across yeah. the quantity you are producing. Yeah. So what happens? It falls. It falls. Do you get it? Yes. So your fixed cost cannot, is constant, but it can be spread if you increase your production, if you expand your business. Yes. Do you get it now? Okay. So these are the two ways in which, these are the reasons why our short run average cost is U-shaped and downward slope. It is U-shaped and downward slope because of division of labor or specialization. specialization. Because division of labor and specialization will bring about efficiency. And if there's efficiency, it is expected of our average cost of production to fall. That is the first one. The second one is about spreading the fixed cost. We can only spread our fixed cost if we are able to expand our business. Yes. So expanding our business means we are expanding but we are expanding our production scale. Mm -hmm. And expanding our production scale will mean that our fixed cost will start reducing. Mm -hmm. So that's, shape, that's how a shape of a short-run average cost is mm -hmm. explained and determined. Clear? Yeah.